Hi kids, I wanted to show you something that you that I highly suggest that you do inside Tinkercad every time you add to your project. Sometimes Tinkercad will glitch out and it will delete all of your work, which is by far the most frustrating thing, especially when you've put a lot of time and effort into your build. So I'm gonna show you how you can save your work your file onto your iPad and then pull it up when you need it. The first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you are changing the name of your food truck every time. And this is going to help us be able to pull up the copy or the progression of our work. So in the upper left hand corner you can see here it says food truck 3.0. Um, just for our practice today I'm going to change it real quick to um, food truck 3.1. Now, again, you're going to need to remember what you changed the name to. I'm going to come over here to the right hand side and I'm going to use the tap the word that says export. That means saving it somewhere else. I need to save it as an STL file. Um, that just means it's a slicing file that is that and that is how the 3D printer reads it and so do the programs. It's no different than like a PDF or um, a document file or a JPEG. It's just the type of file you want is STL. We're going to tap the word save to files and it really doesn't matter where you save it at. I have a tendency to save everything into my downloads. Again, I check the name to make sure that it's correct and I click the button save. So it is saved to my iPad. So even if Tinkercad um, glitches out on you or deletes your work, it's saved on your iPad. So then the way you go get your file is you click the button that says import. It says choose a file. And I'm going to browse. And I know where I saved it. I saved it to my downloads. And I'm waiting for the downloads to pop up. And sometimes they'll be in alphabetical order and you just go get the file that you want and import your file. So what this is effectively doing is it is saving a copy of what you made onto your iPad. It's taking it off of Tinkercad or actually making a copy from Tinkercad and then putting it into your iPad. And then if Tinkercad for some reason would delete your food truck because it happens sometimes you can import a copy of that file right back into Tinkercad. So this is a way to make sure you are saving your work in two places so nothing gets destroyed. I hope that was helpful and please let me know if you have any questions.